that just shows you what you know a champion he is. You make a mistake, you get punished. This is where Don Charles is going to earn his money in there tonight to try and get the confidence back into Daniel Dubois. He's going to come out and face an onslaught here from Usyk. He's had three good rounds, Dubois. If he can just find his feet, just find his confidence, who knows? So is this where the champion turns the screw? Round nine. Dubois down at the end of the eighth. How much is the head cleared between rounds? That's the big question here. Are you on? Are you on? just checking if he's okay there, Richie. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think that, that shot was a low shot, but um, I think the referee's listening to Usyk more now about these these punches. Usyk saying they're low, but I didn't think that one was. Usyk looking to put the pressure back on. Has Dubois pinned on the ropes? Dubois looking to fight his way off. Yeah, he's starting to put his work together now, Usyk. In and out. Massive few moments in this world heavyweight title fight. Blood oozing from the nose of Daniel Dubois, who's been down. This is where he's got to find, find real fighting spirit here, Dubois. And just keep punching with him. But again, Usyk with that lead hand in and out. Putting the punches together again. Nice and accurate, Alexander Usyk. Troubling moments again for Daniel Dubois. Long time to go in the ninth. Couple of good punches thrown back by Dubois. Just made Usyk think about it for a moment. Not too bad at all from Dubois there. With a straight oh. great shot right hand great shot Daniel Dubois down and Usyk just nods his head can Daniel Dubois beat the count it's all over Alexander Usyk has retained his heavyweight title belts in front of this passionate Ukrainian crowd in Rotslav and Daniel Dubois is stopped and his world title dream is over for tonight and Alexander Usyk is in there celebrating and Daniel Dubois couldn't beat the referee's count no he couldn't and it was an actual just a straight right hand that did the damage towards the end um, of the contest there but he was in and out the right was on the wall I think Daniel was getting more and more tired he was allowing Usyk to move in and out and he was just picking and poking and just generally dismantling him here and there and he just got through with some bigger shots and, and Daniel Dubois fitness seemed to drain away from him but remember we spoke about it earlier that we thought he was struggling early on in the fight then he seemed to, to get with it but there then he was just very very tired and Usyk was in and out with the work as he has been all night and he's found those quality shots to finish off Daniel Dubois. He never, never managed to fully recover, having gone down right at the end of the previous round, and when the onslaught came, and the hard, accurate punches came from Alexander Usyk, there was nothing that Daniel Dubois can do. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Did he have to take more chances and gamble more after Usyk had been down after the low blow? I think so. I think there was a window of opportunity there for Daniel Dubois. Alexander Usyk was clearly um, in trouble, he, he, he was hurt, whether you think it was a, a low blow or not, he was, he was definitely in trouble and he, he wasn't fully recovered and that was probably the chance for, for Daniel Dubois that he should have stepped on that gas a little, just a little bit more, maybe a little bit of an experience from Daniel Dubois. There's quite a conversation going yeah. on between the pair of them. He looks like he's reading Daniel Dubois the riot act on Alexander Usyk. No, I think he's congratulating him on, on a. I think he's congratulating him on, on a good performance from Daniel Dubois and a spirited performance. I think he's acknowledging that. He's well, Alexander Usyk. I, I hope he was. I mean, my interpretation of that was that it might have been something different, but I'm not great at reading body language. He's celebrating now, and this is what the crowd who are here tonight wanted to see. Usyk's arm being raised, having defended his world title belt. What do you think the overall assessment of Daniel Dubois is going to be after that performance tonight, Richard? I think, you know, he'll look back and obviously he will... He's missed an opportunity when he, when he had him down, most certainly. But you know what, Daniel Dubois is only 25 years of age, 
He's only had two world fight, title fights before before this. He's in. He's on the biggest stage event of his career. Biggest and the hardest fight of, of his life. I think he's done okay at the end of the day. That's the shot that, that did the damage when he when he goes down. Clearly felt the pain. He probably on that same eye that he had the injury against Joe Joyce. It looked so. You know, Fletch. Overall, there's a lot of people thought Daniel was going to be a rabbit in the headlights tonight and was going to be blown away. He certainly wasn't, and it's questionable now that we've seen the shot, whether it was. But I thought it was a borderline punch. I've got to say, there's a lot of discussion around our cut, whether it was blown away. He certainly wasn't. So really felt the pain. He probably on that same. He was only 25 years of age. He's only had two world fight title fights before before this. He's in.